I'm your host of the Most Local 23. You're joining me for Star Trek Chapter 15. Congratulations, sweetie. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Mom. It's crazy how fast time flies. All the glaze of stuff going on, graduation snuck up on me. Of course, we're not in the clear of that one just yet, but might as well enjoy what I can. The lace appears at your shoulder and hands you a bouquet of roses. Congratulations, Dolan Jim. I'm glad I got to walk with you. I am too. Congratulations to Glace. To you, Glace. Um, I'm sorry I don't have flowers for you. It's okay. It's not like I was able to go to the store to get you flowers either. I had Eris order them and have them delivered for me this morning. Remind me to thank her for that later. Speaking of Eris, did she say when she's going to arrive we'll need her to get out of here without a, being swarmed by the press? Oh, Glaze. Congratulations to you. I'm very proud of you as well. Ha, huh, there you are, Dolch. Congratulations to you and your and Glaze. I'm very proud of you both. Oh. Andrea. Uh, this is Henry. He's my dad. I would say it's a pleasure to meet you, Henry, but we've met before, of course. Where is Denise? She graduated today, too, didn't she? Ah, yes. Denise is off waiting in line to uh, get her actual diploma. You have to hand in the cap and gown and all that before they give it to you these days. Isn't that strange? Really? They take your cap and gown now? Huh. I mean, I wouldn't know, but I digress. My graduation was an unorthodox one. Oh, I'd forgotten, Dolch. Um, why aren't you in that line? Eris is grabbing glaces anyway, so she said she'd grab mine too. Once she gets here, I'll take my cap and gown off and we can get going. If I play my cards right, this might get a chance to get some alone time with Glaze. What should I do? Sneak away with Glaze. Just chat with her. Stay with everyone for now. Stay with everyone for now. I really want to go spend time with her, but... We're still in the public. It would turn into a disaster. Ah, uh, well, I guess I just wait until we get back to Glace's house. I don't want to, though. What's on your mind, Dolch? You look like a little lost in thought. Oh, no! It's nothing. I was just thinking about you. Hmm, you're so sweet. I love you. I love you, too. Hey, lovebirds! I've got bad news and good news! Bad news, there are already people gathered outside. Good news, I have a plan. What's the plan? We're going to tell everyone that you're having an official ce celebrity meet and greet. What? And I didn't agree to a meet and greet. I don't want to host one right now. Glace, I adore you, but sometimes you're really dumb. While the fans are focused on getting into the meet and greet area, that room over there, you can sneak out. And what happens when they find out there's no meet and greet? People are going to be pissed. This isn't right. Should I post the issue? Yes, messing with Glace's fan isn't okay. It's not cool to mess with people like that, especially since Glace's career is on the line. Listen, Glace's career is on the line every day no matter what she does. Stardom is fickle. At least we can keep you out of the limelight by doing this. Besides... If we don't do this, there's no way the two of you are making it out of here. Who gives a shit? I hate that she's right, but... <sighs> she is. We really don't have a choice. No, you literally just walk out the front door. With all the other graduates. To disperse the people who have cameras and gonna bamboozle you. I don't like it. But I get it. Let's just get this over with, I guess. All right, let's get the ball rolling. I'm going to head over there now. Give it a few minutes, then we'll head to the van, and you'll be fine. You do as Eris orders. No one stops you on the way out. Before you know it, you're at Glace's house and in a comfy clothes. Come here. I miss being able to hold you all day. Mm. Glace, everything okay? So, we need to talk. What is it now? What's up? Why the serious face? Your mom and I have been talking. 
We both think it makes sense for you to leave the country. Did I mention how beautiful Glace's eyes are? God damn it, I just noticed. Like, hers just changed color. Oh my god, I'm so triggered. What? They go from bright to dark all of a sudden. It's just weird. Sorry, say that again. Did I mishear you leave the country for what? For college. You want to go to culinary school and with the whole paparazzi thing, it'd give you a chance to focus on school without having to worry about people hounding you. Plus, you could go to France and learn from some of the best. I mean, that'd be a dream come true, but are you coming with me? Well, no. That would kind of ruin the point. It would be perfect for you, though. Is she serious right now? Get angry or walk away. Walk away to think about it. I can't do this right now, Glace. You just dropped a bomb on my shoulders. This was supposed to be an exciting day for me and you. But this... This isn't exciting or fun or right time. I... I'm sorry. I need time to think this out. I can't make a decision right now. The paparazzi aren't going to hound you every single day through all the class and everything. They're not allowed to, actually. You leave before Glaze can say anything, exiting the door with tears in your eyes. You don't know where you're going, but you find yourself at the park down the road. Well, what do I do now? I have to figure something out, but I don't know if I can by myself. Is there anyone I can call? Tim or Patty won't be there for me for forever. I don't want them to get caught up in stuff between me and Glace either. Who else can I talk to, though? Maybe Denise? It's a crazy thought, but... I guess it's not any more crazier than anything else today. You decide to give her a call. She answers almost immediately. Hey! I didn't think you'd ever call me. What's the occasion? Hey, can you meet me at the park? I'm sitting on a bench near the hiking trail. I need to talk some stuff out. You're serious? Else I'll be there as soon as I can. 20 minutes later, Denise walks up to the park bench watching you anxiously. Oh god, it's you. Why did you call her? You could have called, like, anyone. Well, hey, listen, babe. I didn't mean for any of that to happen a few weeks ago. I just... Uh, that's not why I asked you to come here. It's too late to undo that. Everyone knows about me and Glace now. It was bound to happen. I'm really sorry. I was so upset that I didn't think it through. Let me ask you a question. About Glaze. Why do you hate Glaze so much? I mean the real reason. At first she rubbed me the wrong way, but then you only had eyes for her. I know I don't have the right to feel the same, or to feel that way since I turned you down last year, but... Back then I was afraid of people hating me because I had a girlfriend, but I always thought maybe, maybe someday I'd feel ready for to be myself and I could come back to you. I really do care about you though. I honestly was trying to help at the party a few weeks back. You were literally... Mm. Is this girl for real right now? Everything's, oh, I'm a victim, oh, I had emotions, I had feelings, you're an idiot. I guess it's jealousy. I just thought you'd always be mine, and then you were gone. Can you find it in your heart to love me? No! I can't love you the way you want me to, Denise. If Glaze didn't come along, or if I'd say yes when you confessed you had feelings for me... Would I still have had a chance with you? Not if you tried to drug her and just... Jesus Christ. Really, I, I'm surprised this is up for discussion. Yes, because I knew back then you're a good person under all the crazy. You don't just think things through before you make decisions. Which I guess I should be taking to heart myself right about now. Glace was trying to look out for me after all and... It's best for my career goals. I want you to promise me something, actually. Because I know you're a good person. What? What is it? I need you to take care of Glaze for me. What? What do you mean? 
I've decided that I'm going to culinary school out of the country. I need you to keep an eye on your sister for me while I'm gone. I can't promise that. You know I can't. I'm not asking for you to be good friends with her. If you're not so close, you're you're not close. Just check in on her from time to time. You have all kinds of friends, Denise. She's only got me in a tiny circle. Will you please promise to do that for me? <sighs> I guess I can try for you. That's all I can ask. Thanks. I need to get going. But I'll see you around, okay? Of course. School's over, but you have my number. Bye, Dolch. Hug Denise and stand up and head back up the road to Glace's home. When you get back, you hear a splashing coming from Glace's swimming pool. You walk to the pool to find Glace swimming laps and sit down next to the pool's edge. She swims up to the edge where you're sitting near and looks up at you cautiously. Hey, how are you doing? Are you okay? Typically, people don't wear nightwear while swimming, but okay. I'm doing all right, yeah. I'm sorry for storming off earlier. I was caught off guard. I let it get the better of me, and I shouldn't have. No. Okay, let me offer some relationship advice from a seasoned person who can get a little bit passionate. And that's a good thing in a relationship. Take a walk. Go work out. Ride a bicycle. Take a jog. Do something to get the energy from something out of you and to get calm, rational thinking going. Because sometimes the heart, while it's a great thing, can be stupid as hell. That's personal advice and wisdom. So, yeah. Anyway, it's okay. I, I know it was a lot for me to throw at you, and I'm sorry if it was the wrong time. There wasn't a right time, really, but I decided you're right. You... You did? Yeah. I'm gonna go to France for school. And I don't want to leave you, but it's the right call for my career, and it's only temporary, right? I'll still be able to see you. Of course. We can always call and video chat, too. Good. I want to be close to her, but she seems to be having fun. I'll, uh... I'll wait a moment. Glace, you should get out of the pool and come with me. After how things went earlier, I'd like to make it up to you. In a really special kind of way. Even from above the pool, you can hear Glace gasp. I'll be right home. The two of you quickly go to Glace's room for a passionate afternoon and a good, good night. <laughs> good, good night. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> We all know what happened. It was bound to go out. <laughs> Cue the 70s and 60s horrific music. Um, so with that being said, like I said, take, take my wisdom um, to heart. Not literally, but it's... it's uh, the heart and emotions can be something that's really... Oh my god, it can be really stupid at times. Um, try and always use your brain over your heart. Though your heart is, is a good... It's like being in a room with three people. You, and, and a neutral party, and then your heart. That's what your brain's for, is that neutral thinking it out. Thinking things through. And then thinking, should your heart do right? But it's smart to also take risks in your life, and your brain is going to say, no, that risk is bad. So it's it's really, you got to balance the two. You've got to be yin and yang, really. So that's how I look at things like this. But when it comes to arguments and things like this, don't always, don't ever leave. Um, and be like, you're up this and that, and I hate you, and then storm out. And then something may happen to you, or something may happen to that person while you're gone, and you got off the steam, and you cool off, and... You know, you gotta come back, and maybe that person, something's happened with them, and you, you, you don't want the last memories of you or them to be of hate-filled and things like that. You should always be like, you know what? I just need to cool off. I'll, 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 I'll we'll discuss it later. It's better to do that than to, you know, cause 
worse things to happen. And I, I have to respect Lace for doing what she did, and, and uh, so and or indulge. So, with that being said, um, I hope y'all did enjoy the video. If you did, please feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. Head down to the description below. There is links to social media or Discord, as well as a few links to support um, me and my content. Especially if you guys do enjoy what I do. I try my best for you folks. We try and have a blast, have a lot of fun. And I do at times impart wisdom and, and whatnot that you cannot get from these books. Um, that being said, thank you all for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.